Hello, I'm David Roger, General Counsel for Las Vegas Police Protective Association. Uh, today we filed a lawsuit against the Citizens Review Board to, to prevent them from disclosing your confidential information. Specifically, uh, they post uh, your name, your P number, and uh, allegations of misconduct on their website as part of their public agenda. Additionally, uh, when they publish uh, reports and give the reports to the media, uh, in cases where they disagree with the sheriff concerning uh, his handling of discipline against you. Uh, they also publish your name, your P number, and a whole rec recitation of the circumstances uh, surrounding uh, what they believe to be your misconduct. And, and so, uh, from my, our perspective, all of that information is confidential, and we have filed a lawsuit against the Citizens Review Board, which is an advisory board to the sheriff. Uh, we filed it against uh, Metro because Metro has an interest in uh, this issue, as well as fiscal affairs. And uh, the city of Las Vegas and the county of Clark are, are also involved in this to a certain extent. So... Um, let, let me take a couple minutes and talk to you about this litigation. Uh, if you don't want to get into the weeds, you can turn off this video now. But first, let's talk about CRB. Uh, Citizens Review Board is an advisory board uh, which was formed at the request of, of Metro. The city and the county uh, pay the cost of, of this advisory board, uh, but this advisory board has very limited jurisdiction. Uh, they can review completed IAB investigations and discipline um, uh, that is investigated by, by Metro and IAB. Uh, if IAB has not investigated the case and they get a complaint uh, from a citizen, they can refer the complaint to IAB for an investigation. Uh, CRB does not have uh, independent oversight uh, o over you. Uh, all they can do is advise the, the sheriff uh, about uh, what they believe is the appropriate uh, resolution to complaints uh, against you. Now let's talk about confidentiality. Uh, the statute uh, that uh, it allows um, a citizens review board to exist and the ordinances passed by the city and the county are very similar. And uh, uh, these hearings are closed hearings. The information which is provided to the Citizens Review Board by Metro is supposed to be confidential. And so confidentiality is really found throughout their statute. Uh, when we ask them to redact your names and P numbers from their agenda and redact your names and P numbers from their public reports, uh, Citizens Review Board gave us the a straight arm and said that they weren't inclined to uh, grant our request and therefore we we're filing this lawsuit. So let's talk a little bit about Nevada law. And so uh, Nevada law and the Nevada Supreme Court has ruled on uh, a public employee's uh, personal privacy interests. And the first case that they decided was a case involving Clark County School District. In that particular case, uh, Clark County School District was investigating one of the trustees uh, who was alleged to have been making some sexual overtones uh, or inappropriate comments to teachers and students. And, and so they conducted the investigation and, and Metro, or I'm sorry, uh, the Las Vegas Review Journal wanted the complete reports. And the Nevada Supreme Court said, you know, when we're dealing with what, what they call non-trivial privacy interests, uh, there is a balancing test that takes place. And uh, there's great weight to uh, protecting a public employee's privacy interests. And, and so in the end, uh, the Nevada Supreme Court said that uh, the Clark County School District should turn over the investigative reports, uh, but uh, they can redact the names of teachers and witnesses who cooperated in the investigation. Uh, they, they cited a case called Camerosini. And so in Camerosini, this is a Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals case. 
not controlling under under Nevada law, but certainly uh, dealing with uh, the Federal Freedom of Information Act. In that case, uh, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, in interpreting the uh, FOIA statute, uh, said that uh, foreign exchange uh, students uh, who were participating in uh, some training in the United States uh, were entitled to protect uh, their privacy interests and that uh, although records might be required to be turned over, uh, that the, the employer uh, should redact the names and identifying information of the employees. And, which leads us to the case that we're relying on, and that is Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department versus the RJ. And in that particular case, uh, the review journal was conducting an investigation, and I don't know the scope of their investigative reporting, uh, but what they wanted was Metro officers, names, P numbers, and work assignments. Uh, the Metro turned over every employee's name, every employee's identification number, uh, but uh, declined to, to turn over the work assignments. And back then, Sheriff Lombardo called PPA. We provided a, a, an affidavit saying that, uh, you know, revealing an officer's work assignments uh, could subject them to harassment and perhaps uh, safety concerns as well. And so the Nevada Supreme Court reviewed uh, that, that case and held that police officers have a non-trivial privacy interest in their work assignments. And they said that because Metro voluntarily turned over names and ID numbers, uh, and because the names and ID numbers were not attached to the work assignments, they weren't uh, going to address that. But uh, they noted that in Clark County School District, as well as the Ninth Circuit case, uh, the, those courts uh, held that an employee's name and identifying information uh, were confidential as well. And, and so in, in uh, Metro versus the RJ, uh, the Nevada Supreme Court said this. Guided by the foregoing principles, we conclude that Metro officers have a non-trivial privacy interest in their unit assignments. Crucially, although the district court suggested otherwise, the officers do not surrender their privacy interests by swearing an oath of public office. And so in the end, uh, the Nevada Supreme Court said that Metro was not required to turn over your work assignments. Turning to the instant case uh, where we're suing the Citizens Review Board, uh, we're not saying that the Citizens Review Board can't post agendas if they feel the need to. We're not saying that they can't produce reports. What we are saying is that you have a privacy interest in your personnel records. You have a non-trivial pr privacy right in your disciplinary records. And in fact, uh, according to our collective bargaining agreement, which is uh, not really major a major issue in this lawsuit, you get to redact or, or the department has to redact your discipline after a certain number of years. If CRB is allowed to air out uh, all of the allegations of misconduct against you, A, it puts you in, in some jeopardy uh, because those people who are cop haters uh, might very well uh, decide to target you and, and your family. Uh, but uh, more importantly, that once uh, these allegations uh, or IAB reports are, are filtered into the public, there's no way to redact them. There's no way to uh, purge uh, that information once it's in the internet. And, and so in sum, it is our position uh, that you have a privacy right in your personnel files. You have a privacy right in your disciplinary records, and it's not a trivial privacy right. It, it is substantial. And uh, under the Nevada Public Records Law, which is uh, what... Uh, these cases deal with, uh, you're entitled to your right to privacy and CRB can't disclose uh, your name, P number, and allegations in the public domain. Uh, and uh, they have to redact this uh, information. And so this litigation could take some time. 
but it is important uh, for us to make sure that we're doing everything we can to protect uh, your privacy. As the Nevada Supreme Court said, and the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has said, public employees don't give up their right to privacy simply by taking a public employee job. Uh, I hope this makes uh, sense. Uh, we will continue to fight uh, for, for your rights. Please contact me if you have any questions. It's droger at lvppa.com. Thank you.